Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Victoria 2. Alright, really. Get to work. We got lots to occupy. Man, these guys started with 30. They're getting low. I don't know if I'll be able to rescue the, uh... Let's call them the capitalists. Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Terrible way to open a show with a pun like that. I apologize. <laughs> uh, I, I'm a terrible human being. State capitalism. Okay, hang on here. Yeah, send an Ethiopian expedition. Yeah, India goes back to being completely uncivilized, as they do. Opinion with everyone is now neutral. Ugh. We are missing valid justification. I don't get justification to add to sphere. I guess not. Oh well. Kind of shitty, but whatever. It's not like I really need to go out and start warmongering any further than I already have, so... Alright, so I've done that. 67. Still got three years. Might just go with this. I mean... Is mostly not really out of anything other than my ships build faster, which I would really like. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna get these, obviously, and eventually, you know, get, like, dreadnoughts here. That's something, but... Minus 10 days of build time? Like, it's hard to say. I mean, I'm the greatest in the world right now. Even then, my pop my military power has dropped somewhere close to 500 from this war. It's a pretty hellish war. There are no gods. And advance up two, three, four. We keep pushing them back. We've got this. Hey, we'll have connection to their capital. But yeah, we've got most of our stuff in now. It's 51%, so... Since I checked that last episode, I remember that. 51%, that's all I need. I mean, I think we've got probably battles to make up s much more now. No, still only 25%. We're actually just getting shit out of occupation, finally. Xi'an Conquest of the Tibetan, Tibetan Chengdu region. Aw. Damn. I want to join in on Xia because they are my ally. Boom. Yeah, at least these guys managed to shrug off the reactionaries. After all, a Chinese dictatorship. A little early for that, isn't it? Hugh, 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 Hugh all the way. Oh, what fun it is to Hugh. Something, something, Hugh, Hugh, Hugh. Hey! <laughs> I just totally made that up on the spot. And it wasn't actually that bad, considering some of the shit I have made up on the spot. You see, I have this dream of mine. Full citizenship. Yeah, they can't move. They're actually bogged there for a little while until we can clean up this crap fest. Actually, wait, no, they're not. They can just go up ahead. They, we've... But we do need to secure this part of the border here. So we'll have to have them move through. I 
Alright, we've got this secured. They now have no way of getting into this region. That's it. All we need to do is occupy that now. 49%, we're almost there. Ethiopian reactionaries have risen. Our trade must be uh, definitely protected, yep. I'm in favor of protectionism. Definitely. Okay, we're doing good. They can't move yet, but alright. Oh, reforms can be passed. So, what's, uh, what's on the table here? Yeah, it's a limited work day. And as I've said before, it's not happening. I'm not giving them work hour reforms. Alright, so I've already got half of this friggin' tech here. Ugh. I really need to learn. I remember I cap out somewhere at 11, as it turns out. Oh, increase opinion of Hindi in India. I guess that I'll just have to do it the old-fashioned way. Um, so just scroll up to the top here. Sort by priority. Increase opinion. So, how close are we here? The upper house has been rearranged. As I passed a reform just before this, of course, the socialists increase again, but that's good. Gold standard, excellent. Eh, alright. The imperial faction continues to reign. Nothing new about that. 50% are socialist. Jeez. It's rough. Alright, seriously. We we at the end here? Forty nine percent still, okay. I actually thought we were good for a while, but oh well. Control the clergy. They give my people literacy. I want to keep them alive. Speaking of which, how are we doing? Up to 90% literacy. This is always good. We've got actually enough clergymen. And we still need more clerks. I swear, one day I... Oh my lord. Alright. Wow, it lags to do that. I can't wait to see my income after this. Whoop, oh, oh. Hey, not terrible, actually. I'll clean out the list myself manually later, I'm sure. Somehow my population is still stable. We aren't sure how, but it is. Or, not my population, I mean my income. And that number is just going to shoot up like a rocket now. Fire control systems finished. Like I said, I have nothing, absolutely nothing else to research, so... Uh, my literacy may have been too high, because I built nothing but universities. All game. In EU3. Yeah, weapons platforms. Main armament. Eh, that's where that ends. Okay. I think after main armament, I'm just going to start saving up, because I should reach the cap by 1870. Close to, hopefully. The closer, the better. Fifty-two percent. Or do I want more? Could free the people of Korea. Could mutilate Japan. You know what? I've had enough of, in of this. This is this is. I've this has been a decade of war. 
It is done. And Zaya is restored to being the king of China. Well, mostly. Let me double check that. 26 million versus 57 million. Not quite, but... Anyway. Do, 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 do. Can I just hit enter? Sweet. I, it's not even worthwhile for me to bring these people back. Just, just disband them. <laughs> Seriously. Ugh. Oh, man. That'll do me for now, I think. There. Yeah. All my military power was down to 491 before I disbanded everything, so... Jeez. I've fallen behind in military power, but that's okay. Let's just bring them back. Okay, come on here. Getting a decent navy going here. Of ironclads. Kaboom! 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 But yeah, for the first time in a long while, I'm at peace. Are there, there are rebels. Oh no, there aren't any uprisings, though. Okay. In case I'm going to put down the last of them. Where's my last brigade? What the fuck are they attack? What the fuck is Rome doing? What the fuck? What the... I don't even know. I don't even care. Fuck it. Oh, there they are. Done. Alright. And Zaya is definitely becoming... I, I assume Zaya is just going to consume this part. But overall, definitely well done. A decent like that, but yeah. Oh god, I can act reforms again. It's never good if I can. Mmm. They aren't. They are. I could give them pensions. Yeah, three point four seven. That's probably the best thing to do. Fine. Yeah, forty-five. Uh, trinket pensions would be pretty grim for me if I tried those. Heavens for heaven forbid. I'll do it. Minimum safety regulations. Gonna piss people off, sure, but who's who really cares? Getting there every day needs. Yeah, I think we're doing okay, and. At this point, I really think I can just drop military spending. And hopefully that, since all my money is currently going into industrial subsidies. <laughs> totally not 6.7 grand. Seriously, I need to do something about that. <laughs> I accept that it's going to be fairly high, but it shouldn't be that high. It's a little too high. And I'm totally not making a weed joke here. That's just a really large amount of money. We have gained Humiliate against Japan. Okay. Alright, whatever. Alright, sounds about right. Because must and Sina Siberia going at it? I'm not surprised. Holy shit, they broke it. Oh, god damn it, what's happening? The white army? You guys are okay, right? Doesn't look like it. Oh, god damn it, I don't want to have to intervene in this. Twelve brigades if we mobilize our poor citizens. I have 31 million people. That's terrible. I'm going to go with the civic faction again. I need them. 
Their anti-military policy will mean people res resign from being soldiers, and that will let the number of brigades I support can support drop a bit. Not only will that serve helping to balance me out a little, it'll help serving serve up the economy like hell. Oh man, I am bleeding. Bleeding cash. I'm just going to raise my taxes on everybody, I think. Except the rich. The rich don't need to be taxed. I can just make myself rich doing that. It's The reason I'm not going to tax the rich is because of the National Bank. <laughs> I really don't even, you know... Ethiopian reactionary as a person. Do I really care? They're just going to go away. I mean, really. Hmm. One of our states has adopted a license agreement that allows residents to write issue or retract liquor licenses in their local districts. With strong public support, licensing licensing has prohibited the sale of liquor throughout the state. Many local parties have denied the right been denied the right to sell their food locally. Force or repeal of the act. I'm siding with Trebizon? What? Holy shit, they exist now. Well, alright. Apparently they exist now. Cool. Cool. Alright, can we just gather everyone to Alexandria now? Sort that out in a moment. And there we are. Excellent. I've... Yeah, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. I hope. I've got control of the situation, it looks like. Alright, yeah. I, now I can just spend the year building up research points. It's going to be a bit of peacetime, I think. Where's my military power coming from? Capital ships. Cool. Alright. I don't need military power to be on top of the world. That's the fun part. My, mil my prestige score alone is actually enough. And if not, my industrial score is enough three times over. Give the capitalists more money to build factories with. Works well. I mean... Oh, there we go. Speaking of which, how many discoveries do I have to make? Mm, not bad. Yeah, I'm never going to have authoritarianism. Nitroglycerin, random province, as usual. I think it's good to just finally be out of a war for once. Sit back, relax. Let the economy boom like hell, because it can. No, really. <laughs> now I need to decide, though, on one crucial thing. What do I research out of the gate? There are two good contenders for this. I'm just going to let you run in the background. Or piercing, sure. Contender 1, machine guns. Minimum life rating reduction. Meaning I can colonize Africa, finally. Contender 2, steel railroads. Railroad increase. That's impossible to get. Okay, yeah. Eh, one of the two. Currently declared war on Adal. Yeah, I don't know how Adal exists in Europe. It just does. Sometimes it's better not to ask those questions. <laughs> no, really. I have no idea. But yeah, we're coming up on the end of this episode. So, exploding bow? Alright. I love how some of the province names are a little weird, so it produces some interesting results to read. 0.79% of the clerks. Getting enough clerks is impossible. Imprison them. Increase opinion. Now they are friendly. And we can hopefully add them to our sphere of influence yet again. Zaya's doing well, I hope. Mm 
Yeah, that adding them sphere of influence costs a hundred, yep. Alright. Rock me in my cradle? Alright, yeah. This is a nice peaceful year. And I know 1870 is a very, let's call it a turbulent time. Because that's, I believe, when I have the event to discover fascism. I'm not particularly worried about the White Army. Okay, that I'm worried about. Okay, how the fuck do I handle this? I don't know. Oh, God. Okay. <clears throat> I put socialists in power and everyone becomes communists. Really? God damn it. I do everything I can to equate and, you know, keep my population relatively happy. Oh, I know why. They're all communists now. I bet if I go and look at my population... Oh. No, I, no, I wanted to only select soldiers. Strangely enough, not quite as communist as I was expecting. Yeah. Where is all this shit coming from? Well, the artisans are all expected. Yeah, craftsmen and artisans. You know, huge amount of communism. Or, and socialism, but nevertheless. Looking at the population as a whole is pretty neat. So, faction's 32. The imperial and the militarist faction close to tide. No one cares for the liberal factions. Well, the progressive one. They're left out of it. It's just between two conservatives and the civic faction. Not terrible, I suppose, but yeah, we're gonna have to end it here. I have no idea how I plan to stop the commies. Son of a bitch. Alright. Dragoon. Attack 7, 8, and 9. So somebody did eventually figure out and tell me how the hell to structure my armies, so it's about time I started restructuring. Sudanese, Sudanese, Sudanese. Don't want any Greeks. Or anything else. I don't know why I'm getting that occurring, but okay. Or it seems like it seems to be reordering to always keep Sudanese at the top, and I'm okay with this, because that's good for me, but... Yeah, okay. Start with 50. We've got a hell of a lot of troops being built now. Son of a bitch, a war is coming. The second I drop my military. Everyone was just like, I thought you increased your, um... Rebel organization, yes I did. Holy shit did I ever, and I didn't realize what was keeping them from becoming organized. I need my armies. Well, thank you everyone for watching. As always, this has been Calvin, signing off.